In this video we'll show how you can create layout table reports in Alpha Anywhere that when exported to Excel have live formulas in them. So you can see here we have a very simple report that has uh, line items from an invoice and we have a price field, a quantity field and then we have this extended total field where we have price times quantity. So let's go ahead now and preview the report and you can see here we have our extended totals over there and now let's go ahead and export this uh, report to Excel. So uh, we'll click the export button and um, now we can see that we've exported the data to Excel and if we look here in Excel we can see that these uh, extended uh, total columns are actually live. You can see we've uh, automatically entered the Excel formula um, for that column. So if I go there, for example, and change that to 6, then that value there goes to 36. So the report definition actually contains uh, information in it telling Excel how to uh, insert formulas when the data is exported from the layout table report to Excel. So let's go back now and look at how that was actually set up. So we'll go back to the designer here and here we are in the designer and uh, you can see that I'm going to click on the uh, first column, the price column and then if we scroll down in the um, properties we can see that there's a property in the property sheet here called Excel. So if I open up the smart field I can see that I've given that field a reference. I've just simply named it Excel price. So that means that this is now available for me to use in a subsequent formula. Then I've gone to this next field here, quantity, and I've done the same thing. I've given it a reference called Excel quantity. And then finally in this um, calc field over here, I've gone to Excel and this time I've defined a formula that says uh, that the formula for uh, Excel is going to be Excel price times Excel quantity. So let's delete that and start again. So I'll go here and I'll say insert reference. I want a cell reference and there's price. And then I'll just go here and type in times and then insert this next reference and then I'll type in quantity. So this is how I've now um, uh, given a formula uh, for this uh, cell when it's going to be exported to Excel. So let's go ahead now and quickly do that again. So run the uh, report, hit the preview button overwrite the existing report and then I'm going to see now that my report now has uh, live formulas for those columns. So now the next step would be to add group breaks to the report and then put uh, summary values for each group and then similarly um, make those summary calculations live in Excel as well. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video where we'll add group breaks to the report. So we're continuing our demonstration of live Excel reporting. So let's go back now and add group breaks to this report. So we'll exit preview and we'll go back to the builder here. And uh, just to get a little bit more space, I'm going to temporarily turn off the properties pane there. And now let's go here and insert a group break. And we're going to break on the invoice number field. And let's go here into invoice number and put the invoice number field in. And uh, Let's just go make that a little bit smaller and go and make it bold so it stands out a little bit more nicely. And then um, what we'd like to do is in the summary over here, let's go in and put in um, price times quantity, but we'd like to choose a summary value. We'll choose total and we'd also like to uh, edit the formatting. We'll just choose the dollar sign with two decimal places. So now we've added, um, and let's also go ahead here and make this uh, bold as well so it stands out. Uh, so now we've added a subgroup uh, to the report. If we go ahead and preview now, uh, we can see that there's our subtotal for each group. Now in order to make this a live formula in Excel, Let's go back now uh, to the uh, report editor, turn back on the properties pane over here, click in this field and then scroll down to Excel over here. And now what we would like to do in the Excel field is specify that our formula, oops, just before we uh, do this, before we define the formula, let's go back to this expression over here 
and give it a reference name. So we'll go back here to Excel and we'll call this um, Excel Group Subtotal. So now we've given this expression in Excel a name so we can reference it when we define the subtotal expression over here. So now we'll go back to Excel here and we'll insert a reference uh, into the Excel formula. We want a summary and we want to summarize this the subtotal and we'd like to summarize basically uh, over the detail level over there so click OK click OK again save this now uh, open up our preview so we can see our groups now and we can see our subtotals and now let's uh, run this in Excel export this to Excel so we'll go ahead there so now you can see we've exported it to Excel and if we go look now in this uh, subtotal over here, we can see that Alpha Anywhere has automatically filled in this expression. So it's sum of E6 to E11. So that's E6 from there all the way to E11. So now if I go and type a new value over there, let's go and type in, say, uh, 10 we can see this value will change and that value over there will change. So what we've shown here is that the extended column uh, value is live and the subtotal is live. So the next step is to go and uh, make the grand total live as well. So let's pause the video now and pick it up in the next video where we'll show how the grand total can be added to the report and also to the Excel export version of the report. So we're continuing our discussion on live Excel reporting and now let's go to this simple report here and add in a grand total. So we'll go back to design mode and here's our grand group. So we'll go to this uh, extended total column here and type in our expression price times quantity. We'll set the uh, summary value to total and we'll choose display formatting of two decimal places with a dollar sign. Go ahead now and then let's go here and make this bold and also go here and set a color so that it shows up um, so we can easily distinguish the uh, grand total. So if we go to our report preview now and then go to the last page we'll see that we have um, our grand total at the bottom 93,000 in bold and in blue and so now our goal is to get this as a live formula in the exported Excel report. So we'll go back here back to the report designer and the first thing that we're going to do is go back to this uh, group subtotal and give it a reference name. So we'll scroll down in Excel here and we can see here that we've given it a, a reference name of Excel Group Extended Total. So I'm going to just copy that to the clipboard and now go down to this field and go to the Excel expression over here and you can see that over here we're using a special uh, command called collect and then there's the name of that um, group subtotal field. So what we're saying over here is that go and get all of the addresses for group subtotals and then sum those. So this is going to be the grand total. So let's go ahead now and preview this and see how this works. So go over to our preview then click on the export to Excel button and the report is exported to Excel and now let's scroll down over here to the bottom where we see our 93,000 but if we go look at the expression here we can see that what uh, Alpha Anywhere has done is it's taken the addresses of each subtotal and created a sum expression that sums all of those values and the reason that it didn't just sum everything over here in a single uh, sum expression is that it would have created a circular reference in Excel. So now we can see that if we go and uh, change say this value there to say 7 then this will change which would be the extended column. The group total will uh, change and the report total will change. So let's go ahead there and press enter and there we can see that the um, group total changed and also the grand total changed. So what we've shown here is how layout table reporting uh, allows you to embed special directives in the report definition such that when that report is exported to Excel 
uh, certain formulas in Excel will be live and the report itself once exported to Excel is a live document that you can interact with. Thanks very much for watching.